I could ring this all day long. I gotta get me one of these for no good reason whatsoever. No resonance. Good evening. Good evening, monsieur. My name is Serge and I'm the concierge here. How may I help you? It's uh, quite the weather we're having out there. Oh, yes. A freakster. They call it uh, the Herbert. Taking the entire world by, well, by storm. <laughs> huh, yeah. Paris is still beautiful in the storm, though. I all heartedly agree, monsieur. She's the prettiest no matter the weather. I believe I have the right address. Rue de Montmorency, 51. I'm interested in an apartment. Um, everything is rented out, monsieur. I'm sorry. Everything? Well, yes, yes, everything. You seem to hesitate there. Is there maybe one you're holding on to for somebody? Monsieur is very inquisitive. My interests are scientific in nature. I understand there's some uh, historical significance to this building. You are correct. Sir Nicolas Flamel, the famed alchemist, lived here for a while. On the top floor. May I see that apartment? I'm afraid not, sir. As you well guessed, it is being held on to. Held on to, huh? Any chance it's a mysterious person interested in stabilizing volatile elements and such? Monsieur is very inquisitive. I'm here to check the plumbing for any leaks. Surely, you just. They have been checked last month. They remain just as horrible, leaky, and unfixable as ever. Oh, uh, right. I'm a flooring inspector. Came here to look into a certain apartment. Floor issues, you understand. Structural integrity. Monsieur, permit or a license? Oh, those are obsolete. Everything's digital nowadays. A flimsy excuse if I've ever heard one. Does the name Olmstev ring a bell, Mr. Serge? I do not know who you are or what are you seeking, but this conversation ends now. I have some soup on the stove and I must turn to it. Au revoir. That's gotta be my destination, but I don't exactly know where I'm going. I need someone to show me upstairs. Don't know where I'm headed exactly. This way, this way. It's so good to have you again. I can't just blindly walk up there. I need someone to show me upstairs. I think we got off on the wrong foot, Monsois Serge. Makes no difference. I cannot show you the apartment, and that is final. I can pay handsomely. It is not a question of finances. It is about loyalty and respect. Overrated concepts in today's dog-eat-dog -dog world. Perhaps, but I choose to hang on them all the same, you know. Loyalty to whom, Mr. Olmstev? Oh, your inquisitiveness grows tiresome. I have things to do. Now, if you'll excuse me, please let yourself out. Ah, it's you again. Look, monsieur, I have a wife on the stove and a soup in the, the other way around. My point is, I'm a busy man. 
Soup? There are more important things than soup. You are technically correct, but it is too late in the evening for us to even in Paris. I just wanted to come clean. It's, it's Olmstead who sent me. I was just testing you before. Oh, really? I never saw him with anyone else before, let alone sending someone. Allow me to remain suspicious as to your truthfulness. The fact that you know his name does not mean you represent him or are even his friend. You have the right to your opinion. And the right to ignore your apartment visiting insistences. I'm here for the, uh, the thing Mr. Olmstead left behind. I'm sure I can find a way to convince you that I'm his representative. Fine, I'll play along. Hm. Let me think. Um, something that only he and I would know. Aha! Um, uh -huh. Alright. Could you perhaps uh, tell me, Mr. Um, uh, Ketype? Mr. Ketype, do you know what his nickname for me was? That only he and I knew? And if you tell me that, I'm fully convinced he really did send you and hand you the key to Flamel's room. Flamel's what? Room! R room? Room, room! Oh, you are insufferable! Sergio Leone? Not even closer. Gramps? Not by a long shot. Uh, Stretch? <laughs> no. Flamel's what? Rome. R Rome? Rome. I, uh, I don't recall right now. I'm sure it'll come to me. Why am I not surprised? Anything else, monsieur? Uh, not for now, I guess. Are you? Oh no, do you not have anything better to do with your times in torture me, Mr. K-Type? I'm just alone here in Paris and I feel like chatting. Can't visit anything because of the storm. I am sorry, but I am very busy. I cannot stay on the chit-chat. May I inquire about a book you have here? <sighs> You may. It is our Flamel Memorial Guestbook. I have been keeping it for more than 30 years now. So it's uh, one of those things you write your impressions in after visiting? You should be a detective. How can I give my impression on Flamel if you won't let me visit his rooms? I don't know. Doesn't this lobby elicit any historical enthusiasm in you? Alright, I'd like to jot down my impressions of the place. I'm afraid I can't let you personally do that, but I will be happy to write down whatever it is you wish. Hmm, alright. By the way, what a beautiful quill you've got there. Actually, it's a fountain pen, made to look like a quill. Is the feather real? A quite real Corvier's Corax feather, yes. A fine present from someone very close to my heart. What shall I write? <clears throat> I, Donald R. Ketype. Yes? Knowing full well that this will go into recorded history. Yes? Hereby declare this, uh, this fine evening. Yes? That, uh, through circumstances that were hard to predict. Bon Dieu, is there more? Oh, I've only just begun. I am a visitor to these strange francophone lands. Yes? So I staggered through the rain-slick streets of the metropolis. In the name of all that is sacred, is there more? 
For in these precipitous times, my efforts to abscond the true nature of my incursions into the obscure and forbidden. Monsieur, you'll have to excuse me. I will be right back. Je viens, je viens. Monsieur Serge seems to have forgotten his beloved pen there. Pretty thing, I must admit. This is for you, you papillon. Oh, Monsieur Homestead, it's it's beautiful. You are you are too kind. As Mac Viper says, never touch another man's pen. I might have known it was you. What is it now? Just wondering how the soup's coming along. It was fine until you arrived. Is that it? I remembered what Olmstead used to call you. It was Papapion. A con but boy in the face of evidence. You truly must be an envoy of my dear friend. I will give you the key to the apartment. Please reassure Monsieur Olmstead of my everlasting devotion and friendship. I'll be sure to do that. Thanks. How do you remember Olmstead? Oh, a very, very warm and uh, likable gentleman. Yeah, but what of his appearance? Appearance? Uh, I, um, well, huh, funny. Now that you mention it, I'm having a hard time recollecting his visage. Strange. Yes, maybe. But, but uh, I'm an old man and my memory is foggy about a lot of things. Yeah, that would explain it. Is Flamel's, uh, thing still up there? Is Sing music a type? Oh, come on, Serge. I work for the man. You know, the stabilizing element he was after. I truly know nothing of what Monsieur Olmstead was researching up there. I figured he would keep you in the loop, no? Yeah, it's complicated. Olmstein sends his regards. Olmstein? Huh. I mean Olmstead. Silly me. Thank you for delivering his message. What is it that endeared you so to Olmstead, Mr. Serge? He's, um, well, uh, huh, strange. I find it hard to put my finger on it. I just feel so loyal to him. Strange. I suppose it is a bit strange, but I'm, I'm, I'm an old man. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Serge. I'll come to bother you if there's anything else. No bother at all. Anything for Monsieur Olmstead. A really old, really crooked armoire. It looks, well, ancient. A uh, big vertical crack in it lets me know it's empty. Strange little pyramids of grayish blue dust. Probably alchemical in nature. No time to look into it. Yeah, at Zothu. Ya Angaku. Ya Zi Nibo. Okay. Not gonna pick any of this stuff up. Who knows what it is and does. Ah, Paris. The city of lights. More like lightning now. Looks just as dreary as any other town in a thunderstorm. Wish I could have visited under different circumstances and weather. We'll always have Paris. Rainy, somber Paris. What a cacophony. Bonsoir, Paris.
course there had to be a pentagram. Of course. I guess Olmstev tried to follow in Flamel's footsteps. Know this seeker. Books hold untold meaning. Order is capital. I, or the Roman numeral for one. Know this seeker. Books hold untold meaning. Order is capital. I, I, or the Roman numeral for two. I, 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 or the Roman numeral for three. I, V, or the Roman numeral for four. V, or the Roman numeral for five. Ancient books rotting away in this forsaken attic. So much for anyone ever reading them. They're, they're no use to anybody. These particular books had somehow survived. They seemed to be in alphabetical order. I was gonna have to make some kind of informed choice here. Choices, actually. I had chosen the book starting with an I and the first word in the sentence. I was onto something. Est. Draconi. In. Finem. Let's see where chaos takes us. This way, Seeker. Still Paris. Still in the rain. Poetic, but I don't have time for it. There's a lot of junk in here. I'm not going through all of it. Gotta keep my eyes on the prize. I have to stop getting distracted. No. No need for it. 
I'll be damned. That's gotta be what I'm looking for. The container of Constance, as it were. Huh. Crow's feathers, scattered all around. What the heck? I'm sure there's some kind of significance here, but it escapes me. Wait, Olmstuff gave a crow's feather pen to Serge. What does that mean? Everything has to be her medical, doesn't it? Corvus. Corvi. Corvinus. What? I don't really need him. Sure put up a fight, didn't you, Olmstef? Or Olmstein, or whatever. Come to daddy. Flamilus necessarium est. There's no apparent latch or handle, and it looks firmly locked. Thanks, Serge. Oh. No bazaar at all. Anything for Monsieur Olmstev. There's no apparent lack. Visible opening to slip this into. Just apply flamel. Hey, it, it worked! Huh, a solitary page. Looks like it was torn out of a book. Is this it? Really? Ecce, structure. Alright, let's uh, see what this says. Huh. Interesting. I should tell Buzz about this right away. He'd better have a cell phone signal. <laughs> 